Hello everyone. Now I'm going to introduce you a vibration tester made by Unity. The model of this vibration tester it is uh, UT315A. Let's unbox this machine and check what's inside. Okay, there's a plastic case inside this uh, paper box. Okay, this is the case. So let's open this case. It is very good protection. Inside the machine, there's a. Actually, it is this way. We can see the the piston man body. We can see there's a battery. It is a nine nine watt battery. And we can see there's a tasting case, some, some tips for the tasting. This is the accessory. We can see the, the cable connected and we can see another um, tasting tip. Okay. And uh, the, third, the third tip for it. Okay. And we saw the menu. The menu is in Chinese language and uh, English. Alright, and also a certificate. Now let's try this machine. Firstly, we have to remove the battery cap and put the battery in. So let's open it. Okay, we connect the battery. The battery is not opened. So let's open it. Okay, the battery is connected. Put it back. Put the cap on. Screw it. Okay, it is in position. Now we can try to power it down. Long click. It is on now. And here we need to connect the testing tips before we started to test the, the vibration. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce you how to use the vibration tester. We have three tips for this uh, vibration tester. These three tips are used under three conditions. One is the short tip, the short tip I have mounted on. And this is the long tip, this is the long tip. Long tip is a very sharp. And the third one is the magnetic, magnetic tip. The short tip almost uh, should go for um, all conditions. In all conditions, you can use it. And the magnetic tip, we can use the, on this uh, stainless steel surfaces or other uh, ion surfaces that can uh, stick this uh, magnetic tip on. And this one is the long tip. Long tip used for this uh, condition that is uh, very narrow gaps or, or small surfaces. But when we use this long tip, we have to make sure the, the frequency of vibration must be lower than 1 kHz. If more than 1 kHz, we have to use the short tip. And after this, we, we are going to introduce you the uh, use of this uh, machine. Firstly, let's turn on this machine. We long click on the power button. The machine is on. And if you want to see the reading clearly, we can click on the backlight button. The backlight is on. Now the vibration is zero. There is no vibration. Okay. And here are three blue buttons. Each button represents one test condition. The first one is for the acceleration uh, testing. The second one is for the speed testing. The third one is for the displacement testing. And here we have the hold, read, menu, enter, rig, and max clear. Okay. What we very frequently use is the max and the three 
blue button. The rig is for the data recording purpose. Menu is for the setting purpose. So now let's let's uh, try the commonly used buttons and the, to demo how to use it. Firstly, we try to test the acceleration. Actually, now it's already in the acceleration interface. It is AP. AP means acceleration. That is the uh, A represents. We can use this one to test the acceleration. Now I have a vibration tester on the table. So we will use this vibration. Uh, oh no, this is a vortex mixer. We will use this vortex mixer to test the vibration. And uh, now we are on this acceleration testing. We can put this tip on the top of the vortex mixer, press. The vortex mixer is running. So we, we can see the acceleration. Now the acceleration is 24.4, 26.3. The, the data always changing. 26.5, 26.8. Yeah, this is uh, how we test the vibration of the acceleration. And we also can test the speed. We click, we click on the speed, long click. It changed to the speed testing. So we press again. The speed also shows on the screen. V represents the speed and also we can test the displacement, the D, this button. We long click the D button, press again. So we can see the displacement is 1.99. But every time when we want to test the uh, acceleration or speed or the displacement, what we want to know is the maximum. So we can also get the maximum of the, the, the testing. Let's say if we, we want to test the maximum of the acceleration. Once we enter to the acceleration interface, we click the max. Here's the max button. Click long click. Max. There will be a max show on the screen. And we can test the max of the acceleration now. So you can see the max is changing. At this point, the max is 36.1. It wouldn't increase. That is the maximum of the acceleration. Okay, we also can test the max of the speed. We click the speed interface, enter, and we click on the max. Then we test. So the max of the speed, 19.98. 19.98. We also can test the display displacement. And we click on max. Max is here. So the max displacement. Max displacement is 1.999. Yes, that's how we use it. And other functions is uh, for other purpose like recording, uh, manual setting, calibration. This is all we can do by this machine. Um, I'm teaching you the basic use of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.